verite documentary filmmaker. I don't make history films. I have no patience for even watching them, let alone making them. But they convinced me that the history was equally important, and I had to convince them to let me tag along and tell this journey, um, which they were a little bit reticent about because actually it takes, as I said, a huge movement. And I had to select main characters, but there are millions of people who had to share their stories at dinner tables and over Thanksgiving and put themselves at risk because, yes, people had to help them do that and help coordinate a strategy and a campaign, but it was the bravery of sharing stories and of people. And as we now know, in this the moment we're in, democracy is a team sport. You know, you, you have to be there. And maybe the greatest genius that these guys did was moving the masses forward, which is, I think, the lesson that we most all wanted to share and is now even more critically important that it's not just the lawyers who are getting paid to do this not enough who are tenacious and brave and have devoted their lives to it but as Evan and Mark you know who could have you know just you know Evan decided not to just be a lawyer he decided to, it's about a movement and it's about activating people because only if we stick together do we provide the ground cover for the lawyers in the courts and this is an important message right now. Right now, I, I work and advise other uh, advocacy campaigns. And um, obviously, this is, a, this is a challenging week for, uh, for, for, for most of us. Um, and it makes me think a lot about what we took on in the marriage fight. And um, you know, a, few, a couple thoughts. One is that um, you know, the LGBT community has been through some pretty serious losses and some pretty serious painful moments. And, you know, I think lesson number one is to grieve and to, um, you know, and then to come back and, uh, you know, keep, keep, keep fighting. And uh, I think another, um, you know, another really important um, point that we, we took on in the marriage movement was the notion of not treating your adversaries as, as people who are haters or hateful people. You have to treat people as, you know, most people are conflicted. Most people on marriage were conflicted when the numbers were so poor. And uh, you have to engage people and listen to their fears and their concerns and help move them along. As painful and as difficult as that is for a group that is the, you know, the victims of, uh, of discrimination. But that's how social justice uh, and progress happens in America, as well as, you know, winning elections and defeating people and all the, all the, all the harder stuff, you know, sort of the, the uh, you know the the feistier stuff too, but that's um, how you you know how you move people along. Um, that's how we got to that level of support that we were able to get to. Uh, it's important to be able to hold two thoughts or more in your head at the same time in order to make sense of the world and figure out how to go forward. So we needed the litigators, we needed the lawyers. The way we were going to win was through litigation at the Supreme Court. So without the, the GLADs and the ACLUs and the Lambda Legals and the National Center for Lesbian Rights and the many lawyers and firms who came into this movement over time, without all of that, we couldn't have won. But we also understood that we won in Hawaii in the courts and it was taken away. You all remember we won in California in the courts and it was taken away. So while we all understood that litigation and our litigators and the pillar organizations that are so vital were necessary, what this campaign worked to bring was the everything else that would enable the litigation to succeed. And it's not either or, it's and. And that's the, the mechanics of how we won. And that was the team that brought the victory home. And to your question, your later question about it, so really what are the lessons that we all must be retaining and that I think the film does such a good job not just of telling but of showing is going forward, as in the past, I believe that there are really three crucial elements of success that a movement must marshal to, to succeed. And those three are hope, clarity, and tenacity. And looking at what Tuesday has now brought to our landscape, we all understand clearly we're going to need tenacity. We have a long road ahead of us with many twists and precipices and even abysses. We have a long way still to go, so we're going to need our tenacity. 
And I think it's also fair to say that just a few days after the election, we don't really fully have clarity. We don't yet fully know exactly what we need to do on which front when and which challenge, though we know there will be many, is exactly going to come in what form. And in part, that's because the challenges are still taking shape. The opponents are still gathering. We know there are going to be challenges. We know we're going to have to have the goal, the strategy, the team, the resources, the commitment to meet them. But we don't exactly yet know on day whatever it is, three, four, what that is. But that's OK, because we will get to clarity. But most of all, right now, we need hope. And we need to not only have hope, we need to convey hope. Because we need everyone in. We have to move from reeling to rallying. And we have to pick ourselves up. We have to remember that much though bad things just happened and bad things loom, not everything went away. Not everything was lost. This is still the same country that elected the first African-American president, not once, but twice. This is still the same country that, by a majority, voted for a woman for president. A significant majority voted to elect a different president than the one we're about to have. And that, that didn't vanish on Tuesday. And this is, same, this is still the same country in which a despised and oppressed minority could persuade the majority to open their hearts and their minds, change those hearts and minds, and then change the law, and win the preeminent language of love, the very thing for which we've been discriminated against, and claim the freedom to marry. That hasn't gone away. So while much bad awaits us, much good is with us and remains for us to summon. And we must convey hope. I do feel very proud and very lucky in my part in this. It feels good to be part of doing the right thing. But without you and without some of the organizations and the friends and the movement and the allies and the people who had conversations, we also would not be here. You know, when I now, as the film said, uh, advise other causes, other movements, other parts of our LGBT movement, in this country and abroad now. I basically summarize some of what I have to, to share as we needed four things to win. This is distinct from the three elements of success. <laughs> we needed four things to, to achieve. And the Freedom to Marry loves this guy. The Freedom to Marry campaign and the Freedom to Marry movement got these four things mostly right, with many stumbles and defeats. The four things we needed were number one, the Constitution. We needed this commitment. This, this promise of liberty, equality, dignity under the law, et cetera. But as we all know, and as will be tested again, the Constitution doesn't just fulfill itself. So we also needed three more things. We needed a movement, millions of people, many organizations, millions of conversations, millions of dollars raised and invested, many battles, many years, many methodologies, litigation, legislation, public education, many, 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 many parts over more than four decades, a movement that was working to secure what we were due under the Constitution. But at the same time, with all this multiplicity, it wasn't random. There was also, and this is the third thing we needed, a strategy. There was a strategy, and the film shows that strategy, this roadmap to victory of building a critical mass of states, a critical mass of support, tackling federal discrimination to create the climate for the litigation to succeed. And the movement was following this strategy. Not everyone knew they were following a strategy. Not everyone necessarily agreed there was a strategy, but a critical mass understood the strategy and was working the strategy. And the fourth thing we needed was a campaign, a campaign to drive that strategy, to help the partners come together, to support the varied work, to fill in the gaps. And those four things together, with that clarity of goal and strategy and work, were how we succeeded. And if we achieved it once, as we have, if we've achieved it in many fronts, in many places, in many battles over, that define American history, we can now achieve it again, and we must. Yeah, thanks,